Altair SimLab is a powerful multi-physics tool in the Altair portfolio of simulation software. It allows users to analyze a wide variety of assemblies and devices, and users can extract mechanical, electrical, thermal, and other types of results, all within one user-friendly interface. Recently, the Flux Solver, which is used for low-frequency electromagnetic analysis, was integrated into the SimLab interface. We will explore how this opens up new opportunities for engineers by walking through the construction and simulation of a simple linear actuator. First, we will define the solution type we eventually want to simulate. Then, we will continue by using the sketch module to begin the basic shape of our device. We can use tools to hand draw a variety of pre-built shapes, such as rectangles. We can also fine tune the size and location of these shapes by manually defining the coordinates. We can also customize and apply fillets to each of the corners. We can define a radius of the curve and select multiple vertices at once. We are now ready to convert this sketch into a geometric entity. From here, we will also extrude this 2D geometry into the third dimension. Since the interior blue portion of the geometry is no longer needed, we will use a Boolean subtract operator to hollow out the beginning of our model shape. To add more shapes to the model, we have a few options, but we will demonstrate here by generating a new sketch within our existing geometry. Again, we will use the sketching tools to draw two circles manually, and we still have the option to manually define the coordinates. From here, the steps are very similar to earlier. We will transform these sketches into geometric bodies, extrude them into 3D shapes, and use Boolean removal to hollow out the openings. We will mirror this process of generating the cylinders on the other side of the device. Once this is complete, we can create a union of all the work so far. We can also create shapes directly within the geometry without using the sketch module. For example, we can define the cylinder that will act as the mobile part of this actuator using its size and location parameters. Other shapes are also available directly within the geometry interface, such as a hollow cylinder. This shape only requires a few additional parameters, such as the hollow inner diameter, and it will act as the coil of our device, enclosing the arm and the center of the housing. Altair SimLab also allows us to customize the name and color of all the geometric and sketch entities within our model. This is very helpful for keeping track of individual components of more complex designs. Our geometry is now complete, so we will begin the pre-processing steps necessary for running the simulation and solving the model. To begin, we will break the geometry in half along a plane in which there is symmetry. This will help us to define magnetic symmetry later, which can greatly increase the simulation speed based on the complexity of the model. We can now remove half of our split model as part of the effort to simplify the solving process. We will now mesh the geometry. This consists of two main steps, surface meshing and volume meshing. For the surface meshing, we will define mesh type and size. Similarly, we will mesh the volume using a TET mesh, which also allows us to define the mesh element type and size. We can use the cutting plane tool to examine the interior volume mesh of our model. Now we are ready to add our mesh geometry to our solution request that we defined at the start. We will also define our magnetic symmetry here. 
which can be seen in the solution browser on the left along with the recently updated solution settings. Next, we will create the infinite box around our device. Similar to other steps, we are able to customize the center, dimensions, and element count within our infinite box. This also gets added to our solution browser, making it clear which stage of pre-processing we are on. We still need to tell SimLab what each part of this model is. We will begin by defining a custom magnetic material for the arm and support of the device. Depending on the type of material being created, there are a wide variety of physical, electrical, and magnetic parameters that we can define to more accurately simulate our device. Once the material has been created, we can apply it to the desired portions of the actuator. We can verify these settings in the assembly browser. Next, we need to define the imposed current coil, which will be the hollow cylinder we created earlier. This allows us to customize the number of turns, the current in the coil, and where the inputs and outputs are. The last step before running the solver is to define the motion of the mobile arm of the device. The first part of this step will be to define the mobile region and provide its axis of motion. Once that is complete, we will edit the solution parameters to define the range of motion. For this example, we want to see the results at five distinct locations within the possible positions of the arm. Lastly, we can select what type of results we are interested in. Once we are satisfied, we will run the solver. Now that the model is solved, we can see that we have the option to view the results in Altair Flux, but we will stay within Altair SimLab for this example. We can see that several visualizations are available to us. SimLab shows us the contour or vector representations of the magnetic field within the linear actuator. We can also change the position of the mobile arm, the measured value being displayed, and the directional component of a given measurement. SimLab also provides the tools to generate plots immediately based on the results. For example, we can analyze the magnetic field at a specific point on the device as the arm moves throughout its predefined positions. Multiple plots can be generated and exported as needed. Lastly, we can even animate the results, which provides us with more detail on how the device performs in real life. We can see how our changing inputs affect the simulated outputs throughout the entirety of the model. This has been a brief overview of how to use Altair SimLab to approach low frequency electromagnetic problems that were previously only solvable in Altair Flux. This is just one of many possible workflows an engineer could follow to design, customize, and analyze their devices, such as linear actuators like this one, or more complex machines. If you would like to know more about how the power of Altair may benefit you, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog. As always, do not hesitate to reach out to us directly at trueinsight.io.